Lord, Lord. <coughs> First of all, I'm just going to give all praise and glory to my power. Yahweh, by Hashem, I'll shy by Hashem, I'll with that. First of all, I'm just going to lock it. Double honest, my elders and apostles, great bell stone, who rule well and teach well. Being great as I'm going to touch on the brothers. And peace of best with all full elect, who will impart that number. I'm the brother Kudarf, that Jimmy has been in Chicago. Come back another video. This video is going to be entitled, The Lord is with us through it all. All right, because um, you, know, you got to remember that the Lord is with you. Uh, when you're going through that, when you're going through that fiery furnace, man. All right, it's uh, Matthew 28. And well, as a matter of fact, um, a second. Damn, what was that precept? Um, Go for submission to Verse 11. Now, no chastening for the present seems to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, a yield of the, the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Man. All right, so this is actually for our benefit. We're being. Spiritually conditioned, man. Physically conditioned for the shit that's about to go down. All right, we're getting prepared. All right, getting our body and our minds prepared, man. All right, now spirit prepared, being strengthened every day. All right, mentally, physically, spiritually, all that. All right. And ultimately paying for our sins, man. You know, catching that um that spiritual fire, so we won't catch that 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 um um. That, that physical fire, man. The missiles, Lord willing. Okay. Verse 6, for whom the Lord loves, he chasteneth and scourges every son whom he, whom he receiveth, man. So that shows that the Lord loves you. All right, if you guys seen that video of that lady, all right, talking about refined silver, all right, and you and you uh, put it through fire to the point where you can see your reflection in it, man. All right, that's very spiritual. And if you endure chastening the most high death with you as sons, for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if he be without a cha without chastisement, whereof all our partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons, man. All right. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we, shall we not much rather be a subject unto the Father of spirits and live? Okay. So our physical fathers corrected us, and what about our spiritual father, man? You know. This is Matthew twenty-eight, you know. Matthew 28 and 20, teaching them to observe all things, whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world, okay, so the Lord is with us, man, no matter what we go through, the Lord is with us, you know, the Lord said he's going to always be with us, man, as long as you do, you know what you do, man, you always going to have that mercy on you, all right, no matter how, uh, um, how hard things go, man, the Lord is going to always be there for you, man. All right. As long as you continue to have faith in him, you know, and do what you got to do. All right. Doing the right thing to the best of your ability. Isaiah 41. Hey, because we fuck up a lot, man. You know, and um, it's humbling. All right. And um, it, gets you in, it puts you in that spirit like, yeah, I don't deserve it. But the Lord is still showing me mercy. All right, Isaiah 41 and 10, fear not thou, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Okay, so don't be afraid. All right, the Lord said in 2 Timothy um, 1 and 7, um, well, I have not given you the spirit of fear, all right, but of love and a sound mind. I will strengthen thee, yeah, I will help thee. So the Lord going to strengthen you, man. He's going to strengthen you through that adversity. All right, I will help thee. He's gonna help us out of it. All right. Um. 
Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness, man. Okay. So John. And I will pray, and I will pray the Father, he shall give you another comforter, man. All right, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, right? So the Lord gave us his Holy Spirit as a comforter, man. You know, whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not. Neither know of him, but ye, should, but ye know him. All right, for he dwelleth with you, it shall be in you, man. The Lord said he's he always going to be with us, man. All right. And I would, I would not leave you comfortless. I will come to you, man. All right? Hey, one thing I noticed, man, hey, when you're going through the fire, you know, are you reading um, uh, scriptures about affliction, man? Hey, that comforts you, man. The scriptures say labor onto that rust and et cetera. All right? Hebrews 12, James 1, Wisdom of Solomon 3, just throwing it out there. When you're going through the affliction, man. All right? Hey, hey man, hey, it's like a soothing feeling, man. You know, and that, and that the Lord give us that comfort. All right. And, and this is a mighty deal, man. You know, not a lot of people can 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 go through this. This is a Deuteronomy. Thirty-one. Thirty-one and six. Be strong. And of a good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For Yahweh thy God, he is. So I can read over. Be strong and of good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For Yahweh thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. All right. So the Lord is come is going with us. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee, man. So he not gonna he got, he not gonna forget you, man. You know. You know, different brothers going through. We, I mean, we all going through shit, but, you know, some brothers in the, in the midst of that fire, man. You know, Lord, you know, some brothers will be going through on an individual, but it's not that bad. Then it'll get bad, you know. You know, then it'll get, you know, uh, you know, uh, somewhat decent. Then it'll get bad again. You know, the Lord uh, put you, put, putting you in and out of that fire, man. You know, like you got to do a sword when you're refining it, man. A silver when you're... Uh, uh, it's like when you're making a sword or when you refine a silver, you got to keep your eye on it, man. If you leave it in too long, all right, I believe it. Um, uh, I'm, not, I'm not that good with, you know, silver and shit, but I'm going to just refer to the sword. All right, the sword will become weak, man. You know, so, um, yeah. So um, with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kabudash. Shalom in the Bible ball.